this is a memory full as introduction video and uh, here we're going to introduce uh, the DDR family of memory and we're going to start with DDR1 in uh, DDR1 uh, you can see we have uh, the three varieties you can get the non-ECC the ECC and the registered ECC modules uh, the non-ECC modules will always have a multiple of eight chips on them if you count them and uh, the ECC will have a multiple of nine chips when you count them so you can count nine chips across there might be nine chips at the bottom as well but there will always be a multiple of nine and a registered ECC module will have the nine chips plus the extra buffer chips so you'll see a lot of chips a very busy module that you'll see uh, the way you will know that it is a DDR1 is that if you look at the last number is a very small number at the end it should be 184 pin module you can see it's like the half of 184 right there so that's how you will tell that it's a DDR1 uh, module. So you, now we're going to look at DDR2 DDR2 are 240 pin modules again when you look at the when you look at the module itself it'll, it'll have a lot of uh, lo uh, connectors here and if you look at the back you can see that uh, uh, it'll have it'll say a number of 240 at the end so you'll see it is uh, it is a very busy module too again it comes in three varieties the non-ECC the ECC and the registered ECC again the same principle applies multiple of 8 multiple of 9 and a very busy chip multiple of 9 with a lot of other extra chips on it again these videos are for you to make the correct buying decision when you look at a module coming out of your machine you want to know okay, okay am I buying the correct module um, for yourself for the machine um, also note that on the DDR2 the the notch that you see is a thinner notch from DDR1 and so the module will not fit if you buy the wrong one it will not fit okay here we looking at DDR3 again they come in the non-ECC the ECC the registered ECC varieties uh, the same thing here um, uh, they are also 240 pin so they can confuse you can confuse them with DDR2 very easily but the way you tell the difference is that the notch is different on the DDR2 you'll see the notches more towards the right the DDR3 the notch is more towards uh, the center left so that's how you would distinguish between a DDR2 and a DDR3 module uh, the third variety was the fully buffered the fourth variety I'm sorry is the fully buffered dim and this came with a heatsink it has a controller in it so it's a totally different module and you can tell it by uh, but just by look, looking at it that it's, it's it just have a heat sink on it and you really can't dismantle this mantle. Uh, DDR1 uh, come in these varieties of PC2100, 2700 and 3200. Uh, if you click on DDR2 they they come in these varieties the 3200, 4200, 5300, 6400, 8500 and DDR3 they again 8500 and they start with 10,000 10, and 12,000 and they go on to these speeds so there is a little bit of overlap the key is that you, you between DDR1 and the 2 and the 3, there's a pin, pin difference. And between the 2 and the 3, there is a, there is a notch difference. So when you're buying it, you have to be very careful. Thank you again. If you have any questions, please call us at 1-800-821-3354. Um, thank you for watching. Take care.